Yeah, too late. Also, in regards to Mushroom Girl being uninformed, that simply isn't so. As according to my research, Mushroom Girl has been called out for things like the bi-lesbian discourse and speaking over black voices ever since early 2022. It's really telling in my opinion. Now before I made this video, I attempted to try and understand Mushroom Girl's perspective and me and my friends tried to calmly educate her and get her to listen to us about why the things she was saying were harmful and misleading. However, we were brushed off, insulted, and invalidated. Just like Crying Blossom was when Mushroom Girl responded to their video that respectfully tried to educate her more on the topic of how the label bisexual lesbians or bi lesbians is harmful and misleading. And speaking of Crying Blossom, when I confronted Mushroom about how, uh, she responded to CB's video on her and how inappropriate her insults were, Mushroom Girl brushed that off as well. I will now show you that conversation. Mushroom Girl has told us, she does not think she needs to listen to trans or black voices about subjects that she is clearly uneducated on, which in my opinion is just fucking gross. Her excuse for this belief is that hundreds of minorities speaking up about their concerns isn't enough to prove their point. As according to Mushroom, there needs to be quote unquote evidence to back their claims up. I'm sorry, Mushroom Girl, but that is not how it works. If there are hundreds of trans voices, black voices, any other voices in general telling you that you're in the wrong and spreading harmful and even hateful information, then that means you're very obviously, oh, I don't know, doing something wrong and you need to, you need to listen instead of spreading false information. I am literally so sick and tired of people making excuses to not listen to LGBT and minority voices. It's like you don't think their voice matters unless it fits their ag your agenda. It's just sickening. I understand that you're 15, but you've been told time and time and time again what you're doing is wrong. If you're going to be in the commentary community and try to be mature and cover topics that are mature, then guess what? I'm going to hold you accountable for every single thing you say and treat you with the maturity that this situation needs to be treated with. I'm 18, you're 15. You think you know it all, so I'm going to treat you like you do. I'm going to treat you like an adult and hold you responsible. There will be no sugarcoating in this. I'm just going to be brutal with you. By the way, I mentioned that Mushroom Girl had a history of speaking over black and trans voices like this, so I'm just going to go ahead and show you evidence of that now. Keep in mind that some of this went down earlier this year, however, in my opinion, she hasn't necessarily changed because she continues to speak over people when she shouldn't. She keeps speaking on topics that she shouldn't. And does she care? No. So let me go ahead and show you all the screenshots of that. Now there actually might be more, but this is what I found based on doing my research. By the way, Mushroom Girl also tried to address a poopy butthole's video on her and about how she's racist. And Mushroom Girl tried to blow everything off, told poopy butthole that their opinion relating to the matter didn't matter, and told them to shut up. But we'll get into that once this little slideshow of screenshots are over. <laughs>
Alright, let's get on to Poopy Butthole's video about Mushroom Girl and how Mushroom Girl decided to combat that video and defend themselves. So first, I'm just gonna go ahead and play Poopy Butthole's video about Mushroom Girl, and then we'll take a look at Mushroom Girl's defense video. Basically, uh, this person was, uh, saying, tracing this fat phobe racist on it, you know, kind of like what people did with me. <laughs> maybe, maybe I'm biased, maybe that's why I'm making this video, I might just be biased, but, um, in all seriousness, they're, like, tracing this racist fat phobe, and it really comes, like, sassily, and they, like, really horribly traced it. I'll put a, I'll put a picture on the screen. Hey, I know we're watching Poopy's video, but I just wanted to cut in and say something. There's nothing wrong with making characters black. However, Mushroom Girl's excuse of, oh, we'll just make black characters and put them in the media. You do realize it's not that simple. It's not that easy. Representation is hard to get nowadays. Of course, people are improving with the representation that they're putting out there, but it's not that fucking easy. Jesus. If it was that easy, then we wouldn't have people literally begging filmmakers to give us representation. Uh, hello? If you take something the corporation's character to make a black, that's not gonna do shit because the character is still white and you're not gonna convince the character to turn black. Like, the character isn't gonna automatically in the canon turn black because you drew fan art of them being black. That's not how that I get them so much. Make a character that's- make your own character that's in that franchise and make them black. Awesome, now, now, you, now you're solving- now you're solving the issue. Now you have your favorite show with your own OC, you know, you can put your own OC in there and the character's black. It solves your fucking issue. Oh, I have this anime and they don't have any black characters. Well, cool. Make your own black character, put them in the universe, boom. People literally blackwash for validation. They do it because they want validation from people on the internet. When people make their own black character, people are like, okay, cool, awesome. But uh, when people blackwash, they, all that's in the fucking comments is, oh my god, Yas Queen, you're so progressive. They want that. Mushroom, sweetie, you and me, we're crackers. We can't tell people what bad black representation is. What the fuck is wrong with you? Okay, so now we're gonna take a look at Mushroom Girl's defense video against Poopy Butthole's video on her. Since it's about 36 minutes long, I am going to edit out uh, a majority of the video that I don't think is important, so I can skip to the main parts that are problematic in the video. I'm going to be making uh, a little response on um, the extremely fucking bullshit that, uh, that PB made. Maybe made a video on me where instead of actually addressing the shit I said, where they addressed a little bit of it, uh, mostly what they were trying to do was uh, poison the well and make me look like a terrible person based on shit that happened like a year ago that I have already apologized for. <laughs> There is two possibilities for the for what the bullshit you were about to see. First of all, this person saw that somebody made a video actively disagreeing with their video, with their videos, and they decided, hmm, I'm gonna go fucking try and dig up as much dirt as I possibly can and see what I can find on this person so I can make a video villainizing them. Or they were already a part of the Mushroom Girl TikTok drama, and they just happen to also be a fucking idiot when it comes to the Sashley situation as well. So when they heard that they're oh so, the the oh so terrible person or Mushroom Girl decided to talk about the situation, oh look, I have so much dirt, dirt quote unquote dig, dug up on this person. You know what? Let me make a video discrediting them as a person instead of actually arguing the shit they say. <laughs> You know, that almost sounds like that's a logical fucking fallacy. This is literally poisoning the well. This is literally an ad hominem. I'm fine with somebody, like, 
putting, like, you know, poking jabs at people or insulting people in videos, but you usually have to do that accompanying an argument for that to work. <laughs> sure, you can call someone an idiot or say that somebody was racist or whatever, but you need to accompany that with an, your actual fucking counterpoint. That's not what you do here. You're straight up making an ad hominem attack and trying to poison the well and be like, yeah, don't listen to this person. I'm gonna show, like, barely any kind of, you know, of the actual arguments in here, other than the small ones that I can, that I can easily argue. So I'm just gonna spend the rest of this video showing why they're a disgusting racist person. Dude couldn't even do the bare minimum amount of research and get, you know, new instances of this behavior? Look, I'll do it for you. Okay, so for this part, I'm gonna have to put a huge trigger warning for self-harm and self-harm romanticization via art form because Mushroom Girl herself didn't even decide to put a trigger warning. She just flashes the art on screen, uncensored. No warning, no nothing. Jesus. I'm gonna heavily censor this because I don't know about you, but I don't want my audience relapsing. So, yeah. Posted to Toy House on November 5th this year. Posted to Toy House on November 14th this year. Posted to Toy House on May 2nd this year. Also, to explain the screenshot of me admitting that what I was doing was romanticization, I made an entire video uh, a while back on why romanticization is a very misused word in the art community and why romanticization by itself is not an inherently harmful thing. I You can romanticize something without promoting it. If you have ever drawn any kind of dark or, ha or subject that harms people in any way, in any kind of cartoony, non-hyperrealistic style, you have romanticized that subject. That is not harmful. You are not harming anyone by doing that, which is why romanticization is not a harmful thing on its own. Now, promoting certain things like self-harm and shit like that, that is also considered romanticization, but that is a much more severe and different kind of romanticization. Romanticization on its own is not harmful, and I don't like the way people act as if it is. People will say, you romanticize blah blah blah, and I'm like, yeah, good observation, bud. Because 
the horror. The fucking horror. We're not trying to cancel you, we're just trying to hold you accountable for your actions. But also, by the way, we're going to see you as irredeemable for the rest of your life because you made a blackface joke when you were 14. By the way, this blackface joke was uh, not racist in the slightest. It was, like, edgy, but, like, it wasn't as bad as it sounds. When you hear a blackface joke, you definitely think of something very, you know, you know, very, um, offensive in your head, but it was not as offensive as you're thinking. Uh, basically, I wish I had the screenshot, but, um... Aw, uh, it's okay, Mushroom. I have the screenshots right here. Also, I want to correct you on something. Making a blackface joke is not only offensive, it is racist. Blackface in and of itself is racist. You shouldn't be joking about that. I know you've acknowledged it now, but the fact that you think it's not as offensive as it seems, it's just... Hello? Basically, somebody, out of spite, decided to draw my OC Adam as a black person, which, like, whatever. Um, but I was upset because I was being, like, attacked and shit. So I just said, OMG, they drew- you drew Adam in blackface as a joke because, you know, it's an originally white character that was drawn to be black. That was literally all it was. And some people construed it as me drawing blackface. Somebody, so, like, I'm not even- I didn't know. People don't do it for the purpose. Yeah, so this next point basically boils down to boo hoo, you think blackwashing is a thing and is basically just compiling a bunch of uh clips of me talking about blackwashing so uh i'm skipping it because who fucking cares i've literally nothing to say on this that i've that i haven't already said before i've made basically entire videos on this i don't care about your opinion on blackwashing and you don't have to care about mine shut up much you do realize you just told a black person to shut up about their opinion related to black issues Related to you trying to dictate whether uh, something was good black representation or not. Something that you cannot speak on. Are you fucking serious? And when I called you out in the comments for this, this is what you had to say. I'm sorry, but my respect for you has gone downhill so fucking badly. So much other stuff I could talk about regarding Mushroom Girl, but I don't want my video to be more than 20 minutes long, so I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this off right now. There might be a part two video about Mushroom Girl in the works, but Jesus Christ, I don't know if I can even stomach any more of this. Also, I would not be surprised if she does end up eventually making a video responding to this, which, okay, I'm fine with you doing that, but if you're just gonna disrespect me or try and invalidate me like you did to my friends in Crying Blossom, then my respect for you is completely gone. I'm sorry. Speaking of sorries, I'm terribly sorry to my audience for having to sit through all of this and for some of you having to watch this shit go down in real time. It's very unfortunate, but I do thank you for staying and educating yourselves. May this potentially serve as a lesson to Mushroom or any other commentators who are trying to be in this community and make a name for themselves. You need to listen to people. That is literally what commentary is all about, listening to people, analyzing the information, and helping others come to an informed and educated conclusion about situations. Also, one last thing. Mushroom Girl, for the love of God, if you don't start scripting your videos, I am going to go batshit insane. Because I don't know about you, but I don't want to sit there for 52 minutes listening to you just ramble on and on and on and on and on and insulting people. It's just... I can't do that. Sorry. Anyways, thank you for watching the video, and if I left anything out, please let me know now in the comments.